Let's revisit the question about H index. Why the researcher's H index is different in Web of Science, Scopers, and Google Scholar? As we know that the H index is based on citation counts. However, the citation data obtained from Web of Science, Scopers, and Google Scholar are considerably different. Web of Science has more complete coverage of natural and social sciences than the humanities. Web of Science has more than 13,000 journals in its core collection and slowly at conference proceedings and book data. Scopers has more than 22,000 journals along with selected book series and conference proceedings. Natural and social sciences are well represented but is weaker in arts and humanities. Google Scholar has the broadest coverage. Google Scholar has about 87% of all English scholarly documents available, including journal articles, preprints, conference papers, thesis, research reports, and any other type of items. So far, we've talked about some commonly used scholarly metrics and citation data sources. What can you do to broaden your scholarly impact? You may notice author name ambiguation problem when you search a name in a database. In order to resolve the author name ambiguation problem, you could create an ORCID ID and claim researcher ID in Web of Science and author ID in Scopers. If you have an institutional profile web page, make sure all the information on that page is accurate and up to date. You are also welcome to create author profiles in Web of Science, Scopers, and Google Scholar, but it may take time to maintain. If you are a huge fan of so social media, you can use LinkedIn, Twitter, etc. to showcase your research. Besides these strategies we've mentioned above, you can deposit your print print into an institutional repository or archive with permission from your publisher and take advantage of error metrics to keep track of the number of downloads and views. Thank you for watching.